Okay, so we're told that the frequency initially is 440 hertz, and we're asked what's the beat frequency when we change the tension by 1%. So we're told that the length of the string is equal to 0 0.750 meters. Okay, now as this is a string, we're considering the fundamental, the wavelength is equal to two times the length. This is half a wavelength here, here's L, and so this is two times 0 0.750, which is equal to 1.50 meters. Now what we need to do is work out how is the frequency going to change when we change the tension. We've got the frequency in the string which doesn't change, but in the one that does change we have frequency is equal to velocity over the wavelength. We know the wavelength, we've calculated that because we're not changing the length of the string. So what we need to look at is the velocity. For waves in the string the velocity is equal to the square root of tension over the mass per unit length. And the mass per unit length is not going to change perceptibly. So V1 over V2 is equal to the square root of T1 over the square root of T2, as this part is constant. We're also not changing this wavelength, so we can actually say that V1 over V2 is F1 over F2. Okay, now T1, that was our original function, tension T1, and then T2 is increased by 1%, which tells us that T2 is equal to 1.01 .01 times T1. So we can put this over the square root of 1.01 .01 T1. Okay, so these square roots of T1s cancel out, and we have F1 over F2 is equal to 1 over the square root of 1.01. .01. So F2 is equal to square root of 1.01 .01 F1, which is equal to 442.19 hertz. So the beat frequency, F beat, is equal to the absolute value of F1 minus F2, which is 442.19 minus the 440. So that gives us the 2 hertz, 2.19 hertz.